Hi and welcome to the Diving Head First. This week I'm going to show you how to make a drawstring backpack which is just perfect for if you're just going out to the gym or if you're going to like a concert or a festival or if you're just going to an amusement park for the day. Last year I made a whole set of drawstring backpacks for everybody when we were going to Disney World. And this is also partially inspired because I went to Joann's and I went in there just literally for one thing. Not buying any more fabric because my fabric stash is way too big as it is. But I couldn't not buy this Doctor Who fabric. Oh my god. They had so many Doctor Who fabrics. It was amazing. They had like 10. It was like, there's usually like one or two. And there was a whole bunch. And I was like, I need. I just, I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> so this was a good excuse to use it. <laughs> so let's get started. The supplies you will need for this project are canvas fabric, normal cotton weight fabric for your front pocket, cording or some other kind of strap material for the straps of your drawstring backpack, a pencil or marker to mark your fabric when you're measuring it, fabric scissors, additional supplies. A sewing machine, ruler, iron, safety pin, and straight pins. You are going to start off by cutting the body fabric of your bag. You need two pieces, 15 inches by 20 inches, which is the canvas or duck cloth. I prefer using it because it's a heavy duty material and your bag will just last longer. And then you're going to cut your front pocket material and that you need one piece that is 15 by 14 inches. And for your cord, you need to cut two pieces that are 70 inches each. Once you have all your material cut, start by folding over the top edge of your pocket material so that you won't have a raw edge sticking out. The rest of the edges you don't need to fold over because they will be sewn in. Once you have it pinned the way that you want it, just sew a straight line across the top. For the canvas, I decided to just iron in folds for all of the different seams and stuff that I was going to be sewing instead of pinning because some of them are very small and it's just easier to have it the creases folded. Start with the two long sides. Just do a half an inch foot crease on both sides. On your top side, do another half an inch crease. Once you have those three, three sides done, fold the top piece down another inch and iron that. This is going to be the area that your, your cord or whatever string you're using goes through. So if you have a thicker like cord, if you're using like webbing or something, you might want to do like two inches instead of one. Once you've ironed all your folds onto both of your pieces of canvas, you can go to your sewing machine. Start out by sewing quarter inch seams along both long sides. Once you've sewn quarter inch seams on both sides of your canvas, then you can go up to the top and fold it back over. Do a seam one inch down at the bottom of your, right next to the edge of your fold so that you have a nice one inch tube at the top of your canvas. Go back to your work area and pin your front pocket onto the front of one of your canvas sides. Once you have pinned your front pocket, you're going to put a safety pin at the end of your cord and start pushing it through the, your top casing. The best way to do this is, honestly, the bigger the safety pin, the better. I only had a very small safety pin, but you have it pinned on the top of your cord and then you put it in and then as far as you can and then once you you get a hold of the safety pin inside your fabric and then just bunch your fabric up around it and then pull it forward and just keep on doing that until it comes out the other end once you've done this on your first side you're going to loop around and do it with the other piece of canvas make sure right sides are facing each other and then after that, you're going to repeat this with your second piece of cord in the opposite direction of what you've just done. So that you end up having two P 
pieces of cord sticking out of each side. If your cord starts to fray with the safety pin, what I did was I wrapped it in a little bit of uh, and like a little bit of tape just to keep everything together and then I put the pin through that on one of my pieces of cord because it was just fraying a bit too much. Tuck your straps in between your two pieces of canvas. Make sure that it's a little bit away from the edge so that you have space to pin. The only place that you want your cords anywhere near the edge is in the bottom corners where you're going to be pinning them so that they get sewn into place. Make sure you, you pin from the very bottom of your one inch seam all the way around all three sides and make sure to you pin in place the cords in the bottom two corners so that they are in place and then you will just have to sew over them later to keep them in their place. Once you're done pinning, you're ready to sew. Make sure to start sewing right at the bottom of that one inch seam that you have where the cords are going through. Start there and work your way all the way around. Once you have sewed around all three sides, turn it right side out and voila, your bag is done. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that thumbs up button or leave a comment below. If you made one of these, let me know what you're going to use it for. As always, to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday. See you guys later. Bye!